Honey, my peeps. So I'm gonna start off by addressing coronavirus because I feel like I can't not do that. But I'm not a microbiologist or a healthcare professional, so the only thing I can really say is follow the guidelines that have been put out by the CDC and your local government because um, chances are you, just like me, are not a healthcare professional or microbiologist and I don't know much about diseases and stuff so just gotta listen to people who actually do. But anyway, um, let's just get off of that but I addressed it and it's a thing right now so Anyway, um, today I have a speed painting, digital speed painting of Merida. The other day um, I was watching a video and this guy had mentioned that he doesn't like the movie Brave, which I don't agree with, and instead of going to his comment section and telling him about my opinion, I decided to just draw the character and keep my opinion kind of to myself, but I guess I'm not keeping my opinion to myself since I just expressed my opinion. But anyway, um, I really like the movie. I think it's the whole mother-daughter fixing their relationship thing is really neat. So I like the movie. <laughs> and I've never really drawn Merida before, so this was a new experience for me. Her design is, I think the character design in the movie period is just good. It's it's nice. <laughs> and Merida's design in particular, she has like a really round face and she doesn't really have a defined jawline and she has a freakishly long neck and I think one of her most iconic features is her really curly red hair. Uh, and her hair is not really, I mean her hair is obviously curly but it's not like defined curls so it felt kind of wrong to use line art for her hair because I just felt like that would make it look less poofy. So I did not use any line art for that. I just um, kind of painted it with this um, this brush that I made to kind of rip. It's like this watercolor brush that I um, edited it so that it kind of works like the watercolor brush in Clip Studio. So it's kind of soft. That's me using it right there. That's what it looks like. Um, and I also use that for the line art. So the line art is not super crispy, but it um, it's there. <laughs> anyway, so how I approach the hair is the first thing I did was I put down the dark color and then I put the lighter color over it and then I defined some things with the darker color, which is kind of how I did a gouache painting a couple or so weeks ago. I can't remember how long ago it was, but that's how I paint gouache hair with gouache. I put the dark color down, then I put the lighter color on top, and that seems to work fine for me. So I used that process in the digital painting piece thing, and it works great. Um, another thing with her hair is that it's not since it's so poofy and the her curls aren't really defined, um, I couldn't really use a lot of highlights without making it look like it was really defined. So, um, a few times I went to like add some highlights and stuff and I was like, no, we are not doing this today. We cannot do this today. So, um, I had to like lower the opacity on some things. But overall, I think her hair turned out really nice. and. Also, I did it before I, I colored everything else, which is not something that I usually do. I usually, like, I'll do the line art and then I'll, like, color the face. Like, I'll fill in all the flat colors for everything first. I don't, like, s start on the hair first ever, I don't think. And I never, like, finish it before I finish everything else, so that was kind of interesting. And after I finished that, and I was like, okay, now it's time to color your skin. I was like, hold up, fam. I don't draw white people often. So it's like I had to kind of think about how to color pale skin. And I, I had a reference up the whole time while I was drawing her to make sure I make her look like herself. And the reference was really helpful when I was coloring the skin because white skin tends to be, according to my observations, pinker than lighter skin black people so 
I had to not go into the yellow region, which is something I would typically do if I was um, drawing a lighter skin black person, and I made her skin tone a little pinker, and that worked excellent. I was proud of myself because I do have a lot of trouble um, drawing white people, especially coloring the skin. It's just not something I typically do. I'm black, so I draw black people all the time, so that's just how it is, my peeps. So. That was interesting and I am proud of myself because it turned out nice. Um, what else? Also, I just like the drawing itself. It's, I just like the drawing. It's nice. Also, the the, fa the shape of her face, um, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but I kind of did. But anyway, it's really round. So when I was um, sketching it, if I recall correctly, um, I like, I didn't even do that normally, the way I normally would because her face shape is just so interesting. <laughs> it's like really, really round and just, it's an interesting character design. But I like the character design. It's nice. Um, another thing that I, I actually kind of forgot to do it and then after the fact I was just like, um, nay. Um, I didn't really add a lot of shading to her clothes. I add a little shading, but it's not. Um, a lot and I didn't add any highlights to her clothes so her clothes her clothes are kind of flat but it is fine my peeps it is a-okay but the most the thing I'm the most proud of is her hair it's just it looks really poofy like her hair is so that's a thing but anyway that is all I have to say about the drawing so I'm going to talk about something else for like a minute <laughs> anyway um i don't know what i'm gonna do for videos and stuff um i do have a lot of time suddenly um but i i don't know how i plan on doing videos until the whole pandemic thing is um has subsided i guess i don't know it's very interesting times, you know? And yeah, just just follow the instructions of the people who know best. That's all I can say. And that's all I can do, because I'm not an expert in that field. Um yeah. It's Corona, it's it's out there. Anyway, um, if you have like a meme, preferably not Corona related, like a text meme or something, it'd be really nice if you put it in the comments because memes are great. Anyway, um, this is how the piece turned out. Like I said, I really like it. I especially like her hair. I think it's really poofy, um, which was the goal. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.